My name is Annette Grooms and we are here in downtown St. Pete um, and we are kind of in the heart of the residential area of downtown just a few blocks off the bay and um, right up against the old northeast neighborhood. We are thrilled I mean, it, with the way it came out. The wood is absolutely stunning. We were looking for kind of a soothing, um, you know, kind of loungy, chill factor thing happening out here, and, it, and hopefully, at least in our minds, that we, what we achieved. You know, AdvantageLumber.com was really easy for us to work with, very um, helpful. Um, we, were, we were debating on the size of the tile to go with, and so my husband talking with the customer service department and found, you know, what the pros and cons were based on what our objectives were. Um, they were very helpful, uh, very knowledgeable, and from a standpoint of when they said, you know, when we ordered the wood, when we got the wood, we met the time frames that they told us, that was all met. Um, you know, everything worked out just as we had originally planned, and we had no hitches with it. it was, you know, they're very easy, great to work with, and very helpful. Um, before we put down the ePay tiles that we have here, we just had um, essentially flat concrete. It um, certainly, because it was a large space and the concrete wasn't exactly perfect, you had the bird bathing issues that got created, so puddle, water would puddle when we'd have rain, and depending on how long it took to dry up, we started to have mold issues and spotting and whatnot. We chose Advantage ePay deck tiles 24 by 24 um, really because the size worked very well with what we were trying to do, which was um, we didn't want anything too small based on the size of the deck. We wanted something that spatially worked. We also found that after kind of laying it out that the, it was going to require very few cuts. From a drainage perspective, anybody that lives in a condo understands that um, you have issues with when rain comes in, that you, depending on where that storm is coming from, you can have a lot of water at, at a very quick time. Piles have the breaks in them so the water can permeate them. The rock around it, it's still a you know, surface that the water can penetrate. So the scuffers that are around the, the perimeter of the terrace does continue to work as originally designed and engineered. Um, you know, it's one of those things that anytime you are in a situation like this, you don't want water coming into your own unit and you really don't want to do anything that affects the rest of the building. Like so many woods float, EPA sinks. It's that dense and that hard. So from a standpoint of having it sitting on the surface here, we're not worried about uh, enough rain coming through with it. The EPA would start to rise up and float around and you know, all end up in a corner. Um, the wood just, is just too heavy and too solid and too dense for that to happen. Um, so that's a, you know, another reason why the product itself works well for this setting.